there's overreactions, and then there's this. Most of us probably know that sinking feeling you get when your credit card is declined, and in some cases, it's understandable that you might get a little mad. But some people just have to take things a step too far. Like this guy, for example. According to cops in Santa Ana, California, the man in the green jacket was trying to buy a 75-cent bag of M&M candy. But when his credit card was rejected, the guy went totally bananas, attacking the clerk and smashing up the store to the tune of $700 in damages. Let's back up a minute and try to see what prompted his little outburst. Here we see the man standing in line as another customer waits for his change. But then our impatient anti-hero butts in and throws the M&Ms on the counter with all the good grace of a baboon at a dinner party. Maybe his mama didn't teach him the good manners cost nothing. Not even 75 cents. Anyway, the overly entitled jerk then pulls out his credit card and appears to get into an argument with the clerk. We can only guess what's being said here, but it seems that neither side is happy with the other, and the ruckus is starting to catch the attention of everybody else in the store. Keeping in mind the old adage that the customer is always right, the clerk tries to ring up the sale and get Mr. Grumpy out of his hair. As the painfully awkward interaction continues, we notice there's another customer standing in line behind Mr. Angry. You can see the other customer on the bottom left of the screen. He's shaking something, or possibly taking a guess about what the guy in the glasses spends most of his free time doing. Then suddenly shit gets real, and the unhappy customer goes full on Incredible Hulk when he doesn't get his candy. Cobb said the suspect was aged between 30 and 35, was just under 6 feet tall and weighed about 180 pounds. They said anyone with any information should get in touch, because if he reacts like this over a 75 cent bag of candy, who knows how he might blow up when something serious happens. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. When the red mist descends, watch out. Customer asks for a refund gets assaulted by Burger King manager. Apparently, you can't have it your way after all. A Louisiana BK customer learned this lesson the hard way after complaining that her milkshake she ordered turned out to be just soft serve ice cream. An unverified footage posted to video sharing site LiveLink shows a customer secretly recording the confrontation as things start to get heated. Are you, you cannot treat people like this. This is your job. Are you for real? No, I'm fake. I don't know what happened to you today. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> you, you handed me soft serve ice cream and then gave me some garbage and I'm not really, gonna eat really, it. Really? Really? Okay, get on. The manager, who clearly isn't all too pleased with her small screen debut, is shown refusing to provide a refund before issuing a whopper of a threat. You're rude. Go ahead, bro. You are so rude. You are so rude. Go. It's on those cameras, and it's gonna be. Like, do not touch me. I'm not taking a picture. I'm making sure that I'm gonna be safe whenever I walk out of here. I think it's safe to say this chick won't be flipping burgers for much longer. Bye, Felicia. Lady throws tantrum in kebab shop, and the door hits her on the way out. Another day, another dollar, and another loudmouth American making an ass out of themselves on social media. This time, it's a lady throwing a hissy fit because staff at a kebab shop put green peppers instead of red peppers in her order. The first time, you did it right. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, ma'am. Okay. Ouch. Let's see that again. Get it right the first time, okay? Get it right the first time, okay? Karma always seems to come back around, especially when you act like this. Probably not the best way to make a customer complaint. You agree? Woman in epic Michael's rant had similar tantrum at Chicago coffee shop. After her epic meltdown at a Michael's craft store in Chicago, netizens tracked down the crazy lady, identifying her as Jennifer Boyle. Her tirade at Michael's came off as racist when she insulted two black employees. 
But it seems Boyle is an equal opportunity harasser who just really enjoys railing against service staff. Last July, she was caught on video in a similar manner, blowing up at a Pete's Coffee and Tea in Boys Town after the white floor manager called her a bitch for haranguing his employee. In retaliation, Boyle screamed at him from across the room like an animal that he's literally the bitch. Oh, the irony. After claiming the barista going all up in her face made her fear for her life, she threatened to call the cops and corporate, even boasting about her 90,000 a year job before finally walking out. Boyle worked in HR for the Sinai Health System, but was fired from her cushy job in September. Probably explains why she went batshit over the $1 Michaels bag. Boyle is no stranger to the law either, having been charged with trespassing after she refused to leave a hotel back in 2013. The police probably know her pretty damn well already, considering her track record for calling the cops willy-nilly. And now that her antics have gone viral, you can bet people will just be waiting for a shit show to go down in every store she shops in. She's currently busy deleting herself from the internet, though, so who knows when the next chapter of the Jennifer Boyle screaming saga will arrive in stores. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Fight at New York 7-Eleven. Now we don't know much about this video except that it's horribly amazing, or amazingly horrible, whichever way you like. The man recording certainly appears to be entertained. We hope you are too. You can hear the man with the chain telling the clerk to call the police. I'm messing with who? I'm messing with who? I'm not talking I'm to you. I'm messing with who, my nigga? I'm blood, bro. Right. I said you messing with who? Why are you saying that? What you Call the police. Let's go. Give me the fuck. Try to make you call the fuck. Give me the fuck. One of the brawlers shouts at his opponent who disappears into the night. That's strange that his dog didn't seem too disturbed by the ordeal. He's probably used to it. Several injured after Aussie fast food brawl. Several people were sent to the hospital after a brawl broke out at a fast food restaurant in Western Australia earlier this month. The May 2nd footage shows a dispute breakout between two unequally matched groups of teenagers at a Perth Hungry Jack's Australia's Burger King franchise. The Saturday night brawl pretty much turned the entire restaurant upside down as food trays, tables and chairs are shown hurled across the venue as weapons. Screaming customers and fearful staff are seen trying to get out of the way and hide behind the counter as a group of 10 boys attempt to batter a trio. An electric sign and a number of chairs and tables were broken in the brawl. Police are asking anyone with information to come forward.